We have two different structures for HCN minus ion, and we're going to find the formal charge on both. So just a disclaimer before we start, these are actually not, this is not an ion that makes a resonance hybrid, but it's just um, a normal ion. We're just going to figure out the formal charge on it. So let's start. So for the number of valence electrons for hydrogen, we know that it has one. Carbon has four valence electrons, nitrogen has five. The number of non-bonding electrons on hydrogen is zero. For carbon, we have zero as well. For nitrogen, we have one, two. Number of bonding electrons for hydrogen, we have two. But then we're going to actually divide that in half, so we actually are going to count that as one. And for carbon, we have one, two, three, four actual uh, numbers of one half of our bonding electron. So when you're actually looking for this value here, all you have to do is count the number of lines in your Lewis structure. And when you're looking for the number of non-bonding electrons, you have to count the dots on your Lewis structure. So looking at this nitrogen, for the number for this value over here, we're going to say it has one, two, three. And now we have to subtract these numbers from this value, from the number of valence electrons. So one minus one is zero, four minus four is zero, and five minus two minus three is also zero. So here's our formal charge. And we're going to do the same thing over here. So our number of valence electrons for hydrogen is 1, nitrogen is 5, carbon is 4, and our number of non-bonding, which is the number of dots for hydrogen is 0, nitrogen is 0, for carbon is 1, 2. And then we have one half of the number of our bonding electrons, which are the lines in our Lewis structure. So hydrogen has one, nitrogen has one, two, three, four, and carbon has one, two, three. And now we're going to do the math by subtracting these values from the total number of valence electrons. So one minus one is zero, five minus four is positive one, and 4 minus 2 is going to be 2, minus 3 is negative 1. So if we look at these two, um, we can see that there's no formal charge on structure A, and which would mean that if this were a resonance hybrid, this would actually be the better structure than structure B, because structure B actually does have formal charges on the nitrogen and the carbon. Secondly, the formal charge should be on the most electronegative element, and here it's actually not because our negative one formal charge is on the carbon, which is less electronegative than our nitrogen. So if we're looking at our guidelines, going back to our guidelines on how to draw Lewis structures, we know that we're supposed to put the least electronegative element in the center, and our formal charges actually uh, go along with this because this is the correct structure with the carbon, which is the least electronegative, in the center.